Hey everyone, it's Lean from ColoradoLean.com. Welcome back to the craft room. Today I'm going to show you how to make a mini slimline graduation card from an SVG that I designed. You'll be able to find that SVG file down in the description below. We're going to be cutting that out with our Cricut Explore Air 2 today and Recollections cardstock. I have a few scrap pieces that I'm going to be using. I have this blue cardstock that I'll be using for the base, and I have some gold foil cardstock as well. I'm going to be using two Cricut mats, although you could use more, you could use less. When we are making our card, we're going to need to score our lines. So I'm going to be using the scoring tool from the Cricut. If you don't have this, you can also use a regular scoreboard. Um, at one point, I needed help getting some of the numbers off of the card or off of the cutting mat. So I have my Cricut spatula in case I need that again. My gold foil cardstock is buckling because of the packaging. So I'll be taping it down with this best ever craft tape from Spellbinders. To put our card together, I have my bone folder, I have my tweezers. I have some art glitter glue and some score tape. The first thing we're going to do is head over to Design Space and I'm going to talk to you about the card. I'll see you there. Before we jump into Cricut Design Space, I want to talk a little bit about this file. When you download it from Google Docs, this is what you're going to get. You'll notice here that the cap and the tassel are together. When I down or when I upload this into Cricut Design Space, for some reason, these two items are not together like this. I don't know if that will be the same for you, but there's no issue with it. So now we're in Cricut Design Space. We'll go ahead and hit the upload, browse files. We will click this one. And we will put an image name and hit upload. Now here it is in design space. And as you can see, the hat's down here, the tassel's up here. I have no idea why it's doing that. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do though, is we're going to go ahead and hit group and we're going to ungroup everything. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this little note right here. So we will highlight it and then hide it. And then we'll come down here to the graduation card itself, to the card base. So what I want to do is I have these two cut lines and we need to change these to the score lines. So we'll come over to edit. We'll come up to score. We'll apply that. And then we will get the card base and the two score lines and we will attach that. So with that attached, when it's going through the Cricut Explore, it will score the lines and then it will cut. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and get all of my gold items the same color. So that will be all of my extra text, the tassel, and these dark blue card pieces. So we'll highlight all of those. We'll go to edit, click on the color. We'll choose any color that's yellow to remind us what we're cutting. And then there we go. 
And then the only other thing I need to do color color wise is I want to choose the graduation hat and I want to choose this piece, which is a little pocket for either a gift card or cash. And I want those to be cut out of black. So again, we'll highlight them, go to edit, come up here, choose the color and then apply. So now we should be ready to make it. And we'll go ahead and save this. And we'll save it to the cloud. I'm going to use 12 by 12 mats. Okay, let's go ahead and double check our mats. Um, I'm working with scrap pieces for the black and the white layer. So I want to make a few adjustments here. So I will just rotate this, move it over, and that should give me enough room on that layer. The gold layer looks fine. Here with the card base, you'll see these dashed lines, and those will be our score lines. And then with our white layer, I need to adjust these as well. So I'm going to just go ahead and have one scrap piece on one side and another scrap piece on the other side. So I will remember that when I set up my cutting mat. And then we'll come back to our black layer. Choose next. We'll go ahead and select our accessory, which is our Cricut Explorer Air 2. All of my cardstock is 65 pounds, so I chose to use cardstock for intricate cuts. Uh, my pressure will be default. And then I'm going to go ahead and remember the material settings. Now it doesn't say in here that I need to load my scoring blade, but I will go ahead and put that in right now because I know it'll come up. So while my other layers were cutting, I realized that I needed a second white and gold matte layer for the back side of the card. So what I did here is I hid all of the pieces of the card except for those two layers. So I'll go ahead and click make it. I will confirm I'm doing this on 12 by 12 matte. And as you can see here, it's going to cut on two separate mats. But to save myself a little bit of time, I'm going to go ahead and click these three dots, move the object, and I'm going to move it to the first mat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this smaller white mat layer, move it all the way over to the right. I have my larger gold mat. I'll move it all the way to the left. And that's the way I have my cutting mat set up. And then I'll go ahead and click next. Cardstock for intricate cuts. And I will go ahead and run this through the Cricut. So as soon as this is done, I will be back with you and we'll get this graduation card put together. Okay, we have all of our pieces cut and we are ready to assemble. So let's go ahead and move some things out of the way here. We will go ahead and start with our card base. And as you can see, there are some really light score lines on here. I think you can see that. So we'll go ahead and get this folded. Now this is really lightweight cardstock, so we don't need to do too much to get it to go. We'll go ahead and crease that with our bone folder. And we have our basic card all ready to go. So we'll bring our mats in. And earlier 
when I was cutting these, I realized I like this card. It is really pretty, but this area right here really does need the white and gold mat so that it matches when it's closed. So I went ahead and I cut an extra layer of that. So what we're going to do first <clears throat> is we're going to go ahead and get everything taped up and put together. And I'll just go ahead and speed through this part. All right, and there are our layers. So let's go ahead and start putting this together. This is probably one of the quickest cards I've ever made. I think the what takes the longest is actually cutting everything with the Cricut. Now again, everything's going to have about a quarter of an inch. And because we don't have the letters on here yet, we want to really pay attention to this bottom line here. Okay, and then we'll get this first middle piece on. And I apologize if I keep moving off screen. I'm still not quite used to crafting with the camera on. So we'll go ahead and line this one up. And then we'll do our little front piece. And yes, I do tend to talk to myself while I craft. Expert advice and all. We'll line this one up here. And then we'll go ahead and get this turned over and get this back piece on. And I think that's really going to help finish the card. Because while the other one was pretty, it just... I don't know, there was something that just kind of looked a little off to me. We'll get that put on there. And, oh yeah, oh yeah, so much better that way. Okay, now let's go ahead and work on our text here. So we'll move the pieces out for the... For the card hat and tassel so when when doing this part the reverse tweezers are going to be indispensable so let's see we're doing 2024 we'll get these over here now, when I did my sample card, um, I was working, I was holding the, the top of the numbers and the letters, and I wasn't able to line things up as well as I would have liked. So that's why I'm doing it from the bottom. And this way I'll be able to adjust the top a little bit better. because these are the same size. But if they are a little bit off, then that's just, we'll just call it a shadow. How's that sound? A little bit of a shadow. And this is gonna be rather repetitive, so I'll go ahead and speed through this part as well. Okay, there we go. And I only got a little bit of glue on the gold foil cardstock, so that's not bad. Now, if you were working with something that's not so shiny, it'd probably be a little bit easier to do. Um, wow, the, the glare on this, while incredibly beautiful, is incredibly difficult. To work with. So we have our pocket left and our graduation cap. So let's go ahead and work on our cap. 
I made this in two pieces. So you have the top mortar board and then you have the bottom piece. And you can leave as much space on this as you like or have it snug up all the way even would be fine. Um, maybe if you did it that way, if you put a little bit of foam tape under the mortar board, that would be nice. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and leave this as one layer. So I want to get this kind of lined up a little bit so I know. Well, let's make this a little easier on ourselves. We'll open that up. As I was saying, I want to kind of get this lined up a little bit so I know how far down my tassel is going to land. And that looks about right, I guess. So we'll go ahead and get this glued down as well. And I'll use my tweezers again. And of course, it's probably not going to get lined up exactly where I had it. And that's fine. As long as it's in the general vicinity. Just put it right there, kind of an angle. I do want to make sure I get enough glue on these points so they stay down because they are awfully delicate. So we'll just pick a width and put it down. Okay, and then the last thing we have is our tassel. And then the front of the card will be done. Okay. I'm going to try. No, I'm not. <laughs> I was going to try and do it with my left hand, but it's like, nope, not going to do it. That's not going to work. So we'll just kind of put this in the middle and let this end fall where it will. We're going to have to clean up our glue a little bit. Just run my fingernail around that. It does dry clear, so it's not going to be that noticeable. And there's our graduation cap. That turned out nice. So the last thing we need to do is put our little pocket in. This is the same width as our white layer. And I'm just going to run a tiny bead of glue around the sides and the bottom of it. Um, there will be enough room for a gift card to fit in here. So we will get this lined up. And then we'll press down our sides. Now I have an old hotel key card that is the same size as gift cards. So I'll go ahead and put this in here now so we can kind of mold the pocket around it. Then we'll make sure our glue gets adhered really well. And there we go. There is our mini slimline graduation card. I think that turned out really nice. What do you think? So if you're not familiar with mini slimline cards, they are six and a quarter inches tall by three and a quarter inches wide. So the envelopes that I have found, um, I got this pack 
of envelopes from the Dollar Tree. They're nice. They work. They're kind of slim or thin. And I did get um, envelopes from my local business supply store that are the same size, a little bit heavier, a little bit nicer. And as you can see, they fit perfectly. So there we go, a mini slimline graduation card. Let me know what you think about this card in the comments below. I will have the SVG file available for you to download from Google Docs. Uh, that'll be down in the description as well. So like the video, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell to be notified when I upload the next video. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.